looking at images of Rockport High School already severely damaged and likely to be much more damaged as this storm, which hit as a Category 4, is likely to sit and spin along the Texas coast for days. Good morning. I'm Dan Harris alongside Amy Robach on this Saturday morning. Also with us, Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. Paula is off this morning, but we have some steady hands to guide us through hours of breaking news coverage. I'm off to see a cat who came by my studio. He's an art collector. Uh, he came by my studio with a, well, with a bunch of people. He ran a day trading firm. Actually, it was a firm that helped set up day traders with the technology that they needed. He has a lot of experience with automated trading, uh, with day trading techniques, high volume trading, and um, algorithmic trading. He has expertise in an area that's obviously going to, knowledge and expertise in an area that's obviously going to help me out a lot. He wants to remain anonymous for good reason. I had done a lot of research in preparation for our meeting. Check out his crib. We spent the better part of the afternoon discussing his collection of Russian constructivism and trying to develop a plausible day trading strategy. The, the barriers to entry are, are a little bit higher than that. So the only way you're going to be able to get that kind of leverage would be joining a proprietary trading firm. And to do that, you need to pass your Series 57, so a lot of study involved, you make your capital contribution, and then the firm has to feel comfortable enough that they're going to allocate a bunch of buying power for you to the point where you're able to leverage that in one day to make that amount of money. And it's just, it's a, it's a set of circumstances that's just probably not going to happen. It's pretty, pretty unrealistic. Now, what is possible is... After running extensive cost projections, I figured I was going to need between forty and $55,000 for materials, contract labor, insurance, and shipping. I'd pretty much spent all of June reading everything I could about day trading in general, and I thought I had developed an unlikely but plausible strategy, but I wanted to run it up the flagpole with a seasoned pro. By his own accounts, this guy made around $21 million in the economic collapse of 2008 by playing the instability in the housing market, and he had agreed to help me develop a strategy. Strategy. He was an expert in disaster capitalism, and I was going to fund the piece only off profits from natural disaster. And when hurricane rolls in, that gas has historically gone from you know three four dollars per you know per million uh, up to anywhere from nine to fifteen dollars per million in a very quick uh, very quick manner. So that's a way that within a day or two or three. Um, just by you know it's it's hurricane season, you're anticipating some kind of movement. Um, you could buy those futures and have a lot more money in a very short period of time. On his recommendation, I went back to the studio and transferred $2,500 to a private trading firm and then went to work furiously on those items of the installation that would cost no money, the painting and the CAD work for the sculptural objects. I was committed to the idea of funding the project exclusively from natural disaster. So I sat back while working and waited for the arrival of hurricane season. I spent the night in late July 2017 painting. In the days, working out the CAD work for the sculptural objects. All of the forms of this work taking direct inspiration from imagery from the collection of the Detroit Institute of the Arts. After grinding in the studio through late summer, hurricane season was finally upon us. 2017 hurricane outlook. All I needed now the was to sit back and wait. The Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean. Let's take a look at the factors affecting this 2017 hurricane outlook. I've been absolutely grinding since 4.30 in the morning. Harvey made land last night. I'm going to play the natural gas futures for the first time uh, today. Hopefully there's a high degree of volatility in, in the market. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Oh, jeez. It's only $2,500. I keep telling myself it's only $2,500. This is an ABC News special report. Hurricane Harvey, state of emergency. You're looking at some of the first images to come out of Rockport, Texas, which was hit by the eye of Hurricane Harvey overnight at around 10.30 local time. We're looking at images of Rockport High School 
already severely damaged and likely to be much more damaged as this storm, which hit as a Category 4, is likely to sit and spin along the Texas coast for days. Good morning. I'm Dan Harris alongside Amy Robach on this Saturday morning. Also with us, Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. Paula is off this morning, but we have some steady hands to guide us through hours of breaking news. But we've been watching this all night. It is so hard to take your eyes off of this radar image because once that storm got close enough to be on radar, you saw that eye deepening, this thing strengthening. Now we have it over land. The Gulf Coast is home to nearly half of American refining capacity, and offshore rigs account for nearly 20% of U.S crude oil. Some of those oil platforms evacuated as Harvey approached. The key ports of Corpus Christi and Houston scrambling to shut down in time. We move about 320,000 barrels of crude a day, so all of that stopped and obviously we don't know when that will resume. If there is any significant damage and it takes more than three or four days to fix it, you could see a spike of 15 to 30 cents per gallon of gas between now and Labor Day. So uh, that's an addition of four or five dollars per gallon. As the biggest storm in more than a oh, decade in the United out. States, the total yeah. cost. Texas, Rob, tell us so what it's like where you are. Look, I was trying to control myself. I had just turned $2,500 into $47,000 in five hours. To the other guys in the firm, this was all in a day's work. They had bigger fish to fry and exponentially more money on the line. So in a five hour period on August 17th, as the devastation of Hurricane Harvey becomes apparent with the light of day, my $2,500 investment in natural gas futures becomes a staggering $47,402.57. That's a 1,896.1% gain in five hours. You still work here? Now with a $47,000 profit in hand, I went into full scale, 18 hour a day production. In episode 52, I'll go into considerable depth on the construction of the piece itself. Post questions in the comments below and I'll make an attempt to answer them. 